Hi, welcome to Grade 2 Math with Mrs. Farrington. And in today's lesson, we're going to talk about understanding weight or mass. Weight is how heavy or how much mass an object has. And so before we begin, what we're going to do is we're going to look at some vocabulary words, some words that we are going to see as we go through this topic. And the first word is weight. Weight. Now, I know we know about weight when you have, you want something and you have to wait. That's about time. But this word, weight, it means the measure of how heavy something is. And you can see here, there are different versions of scales on the picture. And another word that we're going to be looking at, and this is very important, mass. And mass is the amount of matter in an object, usually measured by comparing with an object of known mass. So mass is how heavy something is, and you would know how heavy it is in comparison to another object. And you see the little girl there with a scale. And in this instance, we are using the metric system. And the metric system is a system of measurement based on 10. So we have a centimeter. We did that, remember, when we measured using our ruler, centimeter. Um, we didn't do kilometer as yet, meter and liter. But we're using the metric system to measure weight. And what we're going to look at today are first gram. And a gram is the standard unit of mass in the metric system. It's the smallest. A paper clip weighs about one gram. So that's the smallest. And then the next one is that we're going to look at today is kilograms. And a kilogram is a metric unit of mass equal to 1,000 grams. A math book. Imagine a math, a thick math textbook weighs about a kilogram. So one kilogram equals 1,000 of these grams or 1,000 paper clips. So those are the words that we're going to be seeing today. Now, I'm going to show you some of the instruments. If you look here, this is a scale. It's a balance. And this is one of the things that we are going to be using. Two objects could be the same size, but have different weight or mass. For example, I want you to imagine now a bowling ball. You know, you've been to Mario's. All Everybody's been to Mario's just about. You put one of Mario's bowling balls on this side and you blow up a balloon the same size and you put it on this side. The bowling ball, even though both of them would be the same size, the bowling ball would be heavier. It would have more mass. And that's because the bowling ball is made of resin. It's a plastic and it's heavy. Whereas the balloon is filled with air and air is lighter than plastic. So you could have two items the same size that have a different weight. So when we look at this, a pan balance, and it's like a seesaw, you know, you on one side and your friend is on another side. Seesaw, seesaw, and you're going back and forth, right? And right here, this point here in the middle is called the fulcrum. And you're going to see this word also when you get in science. And this is why it's important for us to pay attention in all of our subject areas because we can integrate. Here, we're talking science now. This is science as well, measurement. So the fulcrum here is in the middle and a fulcrum is the spot where the lever rests. And when two objects weigh the same, so I have two of these Sharpie pens, Let's put them in. And when two object weighs the same, what happens is it balances. Right now it won't stop moving, but let me see. Okay, so once two objects weigh the same, 
then we have where it is going to balance out. Now, when you put an object that is heavier, for instance, I will leave the pen over there, but on this side, I'm going to put the eraser. Wow, my pen couldn't even withstand that. Let's put this in. So we see that the heavier side tilted downward or pivoted downward. And that's how we know which is which one is heavier. And just to compare this, we just finished looking at telling time and we looked at two types of clocks. We looked at the analog and the digital clock. Well, guess what? This, something like this can be like an analog scale, but we also have digital scales. And a digital scale, it runs with a battery. It runs with a battery and there's on and off and it shows you, it shows you how many grams and kilograms it's displayed. So we can have a digital as well as let's say analog because this you don't need batteries it's not powered by anything you just put the items on it and it would weigh it okay it will just tell you which one is heavier and which one is lighter whereas a digital scale tells you how much the object actually weighs we can also use our hands to find out if an object is heavier for instance, I can take my cell phone and put my cell phone in this hand and then I can hold this pencil in this hand. And just by feeling them, I know that my cell phone is heavier than the pencil. And one object can be smaller than another object, but heavier. For instance, let me move these. my iPad. I have an iPad. And I have a reusable shopping bag. The reusable shopping bag is clearly larger. Wow, look at that. The iPad can fit maybe three times in here. It's clearly larger than the iPad, but the iPad is heavier than the bag. This is metal. This is heavy. This has weight. This has more mass. This, this is cloth. So it's much, much lighter. So sometimes we can't look at the size of the object. We have to look at how much mass it has, how much weight it has. And the size of the object does not tell us that. Okay, so we're going to use our, let's use our scale, our balance scale. So I picked some cherries because the tree, you know, it got full, two here, and I'm going to put two here. Now, even though I put two in both sides. It doesn't mean that this would balance because the cherries are not the same size. Look at that. Wow. So the cherries on this side are still heavier because these two here are two gubba cherries. It's much heavier. So what happens if I put a smaller cherry on this side. Look at that. So, it's trying to catch itself and balance out. So I just weighed the cherries to see which side. I'm just gonna, just there. Let the scale thing settle. All right. And they're actually almost the same weight. So that is the cherries. Remove two here. And I'm going to remove two here. All right. 
Okay. So let's look at this. This is some times, some cooking times. We're going to put that there. It's very light. But because there's nothing on this side, the time is obviously heavier. So I'm going to put this tiny mango. It's a small mango. So yeah, look at there. It's a lot of time. So I put the mango here. And then, whew, the mango is way heavier. So, this balance scale tells us which object is heavier or lighter in comparison. So what we're going to do, what we're going to do today, In our worksheet, we're going to compare. Remember we looked at this word compare a few lessons back? Compare when we um, did with, with the alligator, when we wanted to compare greater than or less than. Wow, if you were paying attention, then you remembered. So now we come back to this word compare again. So we are going to be, in this worksheet, we're going to compare the weight of two objects. And for this, it's very important that we read our instructions. We're going to circle the object that is heavier, heavier. So we look at them, you know, we're going to do the first one together. So in the first one, look here, we have, what is that? That's the conch. That's the conch. So we have a conch. It's not just a conch shell, but there's a conch in it. And then we have a crab. Now, judging by the biters, you see these small biters? This is not a white crab. This is not the crab that we get from Andrews, the white crab. This is the little black crabs. This is the little black crabs. So, think about it. Which is heavier? The conch in the conch shell or the crab? And think about those little black crabs in the pen. Excellent, excellent. I knew that somebody was thinking. Very good. Definitely the conch is heavier than the crab. The conch shell alone is very heavy. You, you wouldn't want somebody to brace you with a conch shell. Those things are very, very, very heavy. They have a lot of mass. So let's go through the other pictures, just in case somebody is not familiar. In number two, we have a bicycle. And then we have a motorcycle, or like what we say, motorbike. In number three, there's an apple. Then there's a watermelon. In number four, there's a pair of boots. These high top boots and a pair of flip flops. Then in number five, there's a cup. And do you know this cup? Where, where, where do we see this cup? Yes, when we buy coffee. So this is a coffee cup and this is a pot. And then in number six, we see here a watch and a pair of earrings. So for these objects, you are going to circle the one that is heavier. Then we move to the next section. Circle the object that is lighter. Ooh, so we're doing the opposite, the lighter object. Hmm. So for number seven, we have a desk. This is just like your desk at school. And then we have your chair. So between your desk and your chair, which is heavier, think about when we are rearranging the classroom or when we have an hour monthly quizzes or when it's end of term and we have to separate our desks and our chairs. Which one do you think is heaviest? Which one do you just, you can just get up and lift or somebody has to help you with? Yep, my boys know it. The desk is heavier than the chair. So the chair is the lightest of them because anybody can lift their chair. Because sometimes when we have special assemblies, you have to take your chair with you. So everybody can lift their chairs, but everybody can't lift those desks. They're very, very heavy. They have a lot of mass. So let's look at the other objects. Number eight, the king of the jungle, the lion, versus the elephant. Mmm. Interesting. Number nine, we have a pumpkin. 
And then we have a head of lettuce. Everybody's trying to eat healthy now because we want to keep our immune system strong. Number 10, we have a paintbrush. Ha ha, and guess what? We have a paintbrush. So you're gonna have to figure out which one is lighter. This is our house paintbrush, and this is the paintbrush that we use in art class. And then this here, two of the same things. But this is a bottle of Vitamalt, and this is the canned Vitamalt. Which one is lighter? And then number 12, we have a cooking spoon. You see mommy, big cooking spoon that she used to cook the rice, or she do some stew count or some steamed chicken. And here we have the count beater. Now we call it the count beater in the Bahamas, but it's actually called a meat tenderizer. And we use it to tenderize or make the conk more soft. That's how you get that nice soft conk to make crack conk with. So that's what you're going to do in this particular worksheet. So remember, for numbers one through six, you're circling the object that is heavier. And for numbers seven through 12, you are circling the object that is lighter. Now in this worksheet here, this is a challenge. This is a challenge because now you have to really think. For this particular worksheet, it says, order the objects from lightest, which means the lightest one will be number one to heaviest. And the heaviest one will be number three. We're gonna do number one together. Number one, there's a pig, a cow, and a bunny rabbit. So we're gonna go from the lightest to the heaviest. Which animal is the lightest? Very good. The rabbit is the lightest, so the rabbit is number one. All right. And after the rabbit would be? Yes. The pig. The pig. And then the heaviest, number three, is the cow. So we would have just ordered these animals from lightest to heaviest. So that's what we're doing in section one. And in number two, we have a computer monitor, the screen. We have a mouse, the computer mouse. And then we have the keyboard. You're going to write one, two, and three to order them from lightest to heaviest. Then for number four, well, look at my number. I have to fix it. You see that? Teachers make mistakes as well. Just had to fix my numbers. Oh, no. So what I'm going to do is, that was number two. This should be number three, number four, number five, number six. Okay, so I just had to fix that right quick. And that's all a part of learning. Mistakes are expected. It's going to happen. We're human. They're addressed and then it's corrected. I just corrected it. So it's okay to make mistakes. We learn from them. And it also shows that we're paying attention. So now for number three. We have a loaf of bread. We have a cake. Looks like a birthday cake. How do we know? Our context clues tell us because we have candles on it that it must be a birthday cake. And then we have a cupcake. Then for the next section, it says, order the objects from heaviest to lightest. We're doing the opposite flip-flop. So the heaviest will be three to the lightest. So we're going, instead of going one, two, three, we're going three, two, one. So we have here, for number four, a jet ski. We have a cruise ship and a sailboat. You know the sailboats that our guys are on regatta right now. You know, we're missing some regattas and home coming because of COVID. So, yeah, we're not going to think about that because we'll have that in more times. But let's order these items. Which one is the heaviest? Excellent. Definitely the cruise ship. The cruise ship is the heaviest. A cruise ship is like a floating hotel. And then after that would be what? The sailboat. The sailboat. And then the lightest would be the jet ski. So we just ordered them from heaviest to lightest. Number five. 
in this section, we're looking at some junk canoe stuff, some things that we'll see on the line. So we have our Bella section. We have our cowbells for the Bella section. We have from the brass section, the trombone. And then we have from the back line, the tum-tums. And your tum-tum is your rhythm drum. It's different from the goatskin drum, which is the bass. Some goatskin or cowskin is used for the rhythm, but normally it's the tum-tum. That's where we get that nice rhythm from. All right, and then number six, we have a truck and we have a tractor, which is a backhoe, and then we have a car. So you're gonna order these from heaviest to lightest using the numbers three, two, one. So this has been grade two math with Mrs. Farrington. Please continue to stay safe as we try to ride out Corona so that we can get back to our lives where we can go outside, where we can see each other, we can enjoy the outdoors. Remember to continue to wash your hands, practice social distancing, and enjoy some sunlight in your yard. Be healthy. Your teachers miss you very much and we really can't wait to see you.